Hi guys, what's going on? So, I'm in bed because <laughs> I'm tired, but creamy. Very in bed. Very in bed. It's time for night night, little boy. Alright? Don't go to sleep in any little boy. He does his little sweet nibbles on the bed. <laughs> and this is what I do before I put myself to sleep. Yeah, and I do my. Look at all this. Why mommy brought all of these to the bed? I don't know. But she did. See? Wow. Okay. Come here, baby. Come up here. here. Come up here and get up. Come here. Come here, baby. Here. Come here. There you go. There you go. Good girl. She's got a red one in there. <laughs> and she's got a gray one in here. This little pillows at Dollar Tree for like five bucks, and they are the softest little fucking pillows that you have ever laid on. They're fantastic. <laughs> okay, so I'll have a book on this one. Okay, mommy's gonna do a reading. All right, so I still got a migraine. God, I've had a migraine for two days, and I'm tired. But <clears throat> I don't go in until nine in the morning. No, you come up here and lay down. No, you can't get right in the middle of mommy's step. Here, come up here, baby. No. Come up here. Come here. Say, my God, I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to dig. I'm going to sit right here and I'm going to dig on the couch because I can. Yeah, so me. So I'm a night night nibbles and how cute I am. Okay. Goodness, she's so little. She'll get content here in a minute, and she'll she'll chill out. Okay. Oh, check out my little uh, psychedelic picture up here. All right. This one's really pretty over here too. My friend in Ohio got me those. Pretty awesome. Okay. <clears throat> so. Kip, I did an energetic flush and I took a shower and washed my hair and all that jazz. And when I was in there, I kept channeling detach from yourself and the situation to become an observer in your life so you can process more effectively and efficiently. And even more quickly, right? So, this is what this is what I'm feeling right now. So I don't know what's going to come out, but I've got quite a few decks in here. So I brought this one, Soul Helper Oracle. This is a pretty deck, and I've got the book because I like to read the. The meanings of them to you because I don't only want to just read to you I want to teach you you know that's one thing that I like about tarot whenever I watch other readers and stuff is they teach me so much and you know everyone every card I mean it like in the the main tarot it has like a generalized meaning right but according to other cards and the reading and what you're channeling and what you're guides are telling you and your intuition is telling you it's going to be different you know baby honey <laughs> you're so busy yeah, i need you to come up here this is the, i thought this is mommy's desk right here thank you sweet girl oh you i'm getting down i'm going i'm going somewhere i'm getting down and i'm going for a little set of stairs <laughs> all right so Tear down the walls around your heart. Give and receive security and warmth. The lamp is glaring. So that 
it goes right along with detaching, doesn't it? Okay. Enter the temple of your truth and learn to value it. A message is trying to reach you. <clears throat> Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. So maybe this is why your guides are needing you to detach. Maybe you're too up in your head about something. And it's clouding your intuition. And it's screaming. Like your emotions are screaming so loudly at you that you can't even hear your intuition or your higher self or your guides speak to you, right? Okay. What else, Spirit? A new strategy is required. Find the path to love and happiness. Yeah. So, like, whatever you're doing it doesn't seem to be working. On the bottom of the deck is lost in the ruins of the past find the way to the present moment and live so you're stuck in the past you're stuck back here somewhere you're stuck in a mess recognize despair as an opportunity within it you will find the gift of awakening I'm trying to keep that glare off sorry And on the bottom of the deck, we have crossed the bridge of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotion. It's a cute little cottage surrounded by trees. It's like on a little island. So maybe you're happy with yourself. In your own little private space right now because you need to detach and you need to go inward and you need to get out of the ruins of the past you've got to create a new strategy to enter this temple of your truth and when you tear down the walls around your heart and recognize that despair is actually an opportunity the message that you're wanting these answers to, it's trying to reach you. But whenever you detach, wow, spirit, whenever you detach from the situation and you pull out and become like an observer over your own existence. I've talked about this in other videos, but this was really coming out to me. I needed to speak about this. That's when you're going to be able to hear yourself and your guides. You're too lost up in the coulda, woulda, shoulda, and have not, want not, and what if, what if, what, but what if, or but, and what if. You're confused. You're conflicted. You I feel like you're maybe at a crossroads in your life. And, and you don't know what exactly the right choice is that you need to be making at this time. And you're too scared to make a choice because you don't want to end up like ruins like you have in the past. You're trying to formulate a new strategy to find the path to love and happiness. But deep down inside, you know that truth. You've got to learn to value yourself and your intuition. Okay, number 32, tear down the walls around your heart. So 32 reduces to the hierophant. Give and receive security and warmth. Because that's definitely what God gives you, right? So 
he's trying to give that to you as well but are you receiving it it doesn't sound like you are it sounds like you're blocked somewhere your heart chakra may have a blockage but we're going to pull from the chakra deck and see <clears throat> okay a sense of security and of belonging, feeling happy, warm, and safe are all we need to make a warm, comfortable home for ourselves. Your soul path. Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about here. Okay. Your soul path has now led you here. It's the temple of your truth. you got to learn to value it, right? Okay. Your true home, which will provide all of these, is now ready for you, or perhaps you have already found it. Be prepared to recognize and accept it grace or gratefully. It is wonderful. You will find a sense of security and a true home wherever those around you are at one with you. See all the people, angels, animals, plants, masters, and power animals bound to you in love. Tear down the walls around you. You need them no longer and start building radiant bridges. Do this every day. Look at this bridge that you built to your little house on this little island. You need some alone time. You need to be alone with yourself and with your guide so you can do some inner work on yourself right now. You need to do this every day. Your alone time is when you can recharge and rejuvenate and heal your being, okay? Especially if you're an empath. You are compassionate and have shown that you have patience. Security and love now flow to you and envelop you in their cocoon. Accept everything that comes to you in order to be able, ultimately, to also share it. I see the Six of Pentacles there. <clears throat> Become a vessel filled with an abundance of security and love. Then celebrate it with gratitude and joy as you will reap everything you sow. From now on, wherever you go and wherever your home may be, a sense of security will always be part of your heart. So the power animal is the rabbit. These are your helpers for the next 21 days. Rabbit is the power animal. The essential oil is sandalwood. Your healing crystal is rose quartz. And your number is five. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. Enter your temple path. Or enter, enter the temple of your truth. And learn to value it which I think is your temple path, right? Okay, so that's 19. For the next 21 days, your power animal is the sheep or the lamb. Your essential oil is silver fur. Your healing crystal is Larimar. And then your number is one. A really pretty piece of Larimar. Oh my goodness! It's it's the it's the Atlantean stone. Dolphins are connected to it. It's very gentle energy that can help you clear that out. <clears throat> okay, um, this card is like the Joker in the deck. If you draw it, something major is about to happen. You will experience God. And that's the Hierophant energy right here. When you tear down these walls around your heart. You let God and your guides in. Okay. Going through heartbreak. You will experience God. You will recognize the source of all being. God or the divine source is not a living being. 
not a thing or idea, but an experience, something that pervades and changes you. Everything is in God. Everything you can see, all of creation is within the divine source. At times, you may feel disconnected, but God is flowing through you at each and every moment. God, the divine source, or the term that you prefer to use, okay, is within you and around you. Enter the temple of truth <clears throat> that lies within your heart and call to God there. The time has come. Seek out the silence that you need for this and be ready. Search for your truth, but not in the outside world. It can only be found in your own heart. This is doing your inner work, and I talk about this a lot in my videos. Um, open yourself to understanding that truth is entirely individual. Everyone has their own truth, which is good, since everyone feels and sees things in their own way. Everyone has the right to, he to his or her own truth and should be wise and generous enough to respect and tolerate that of others. Start to value your own truth. Set out, that's trust yourself, okay? You know what's best for you and act accordingly. Don't, you don't have to be a people pleaser. Please yourself. Put yourself as your top priority, okay? <clears throat> Set out on the journey of experiencing yourself. Be brave. You have been ready for a long time. Yes, you have. You know it. Recognize that it is your mission to be happy and to experience new things. For you, there is only one temple of truth and you will find it inside you. Deep in your heart is where you will find all the answers that prompted your questions. And see... It's telling you to tear down the walls around your heart so that you can let that in. <clears throat> okay? That's a blockage in your heart chakra. Now, read the previous sentence again and take it to heart. But focus on it and understand it with your mind as well. And it says, deep in your heart is where you will find all the answers that prompted your questions. Recognize that it is your mission to be happy and to experience new things. For you, there is only one temple of truth and you will find it inside you. Hmm. Okay. And that's number two. 19, which goes to the magician energy, okay? A message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. Number 37. Okay. She, oh, she's pretty. She has her raven. So that also reduces to a 10, which is also the magician energy. Goodness. <clears throat> okay, the number is 1. We went over that. The power animal is raven. The essential oil is lemon. And the healing crystal is magnetite. Message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. Get in touch with your feelings and emotions. A message from the spirit world is trying to find its way to you. You are much too busy with worldly things and with yourself just now. They distract and preoccupy you so much that you're failing to take notice of the message. Cleanse yourself. Do an energetic flush. Smudge yourself with sage. White candlelight is so important to burn that to dispel negative energies and entities and bring in the angelic realm. 
use incense, frankincense, and dragon's blood are two very powerful ones to help with that. <clears throat> Cleanse yourself. Let go of your fears for the future. The future, living in the future and the fear of it creates anxiety. Living in the past and not letting that go creates depression. You need to be present and be mindful in the present moment at all times and be grounded, okay? And that is also cleansing yourself, ground your energy. And give expression to your desires and dreams, perhaps by writing them down, portraying them in a picture or collage like a vision board, okay? Or telling your friends about them. Feel free to use modern technology, such as social media if you like. Pinterest is so much fun to create vision fucking boards. It's awesome, and you learn shit, and it'll teach you every craft that you could possibly ever think of. Be diligent and be and find find something that you're interested in, like a hobby or a craft or something. Get creative. Be diligent and prepared. Have an open and receptive heart since this is where you will receive the message. And you've got to unblock your heart. It will flow like a golden light into the center of your heart, into the sacred space of your truth. Leave your worldly troubles behind so that the great spirit can touch you. And that golden ray is the ray of Father God source energy, okay? It's divine energy. And the and the yellow is also the solar plexus, which is your power source. Okay. The message will be about fulfillment and truth. It will be a a it will be a portent of victory. Okay. <clears throat> God my throat chakra. <clears throat> Clear my throat chakra, Archangel Michael. <coughs> Please. <clears throat> I have talked a lot today. Okay. A new strategy is required. Where is that? It's dark in my room a little bit. Number 12. So. Find the path to love and happiness. So maybe you're going through a really bad breakup or heartbreak that really... Like, did you in, man? It did a number on you, didn't it? You're, you're hurting. I feel like you were betrayed in, like, a profound way. And in a way that, like, was so asinine. Like, why in the world were you treated so poorly when all you were was so good to these people or this person? Okay, I just feel that. <clears throat> a new strategy is required. Find the path to love and happiness. The number is three. The healing crystal is black tourmaline. That will ground your energy. And it will protect you from negative energy and entities. The essential oil is lavender. That will help relax you and calm your calm your energy and bring like a peaceful calming energy over you. It'll also help you sleep and relax. And then your power animal is dragon. Usually the animal's on here, but I don't see the dragon. Hmm. Okay. Maybe he's coming. <clears throat> okay. You have drawn this card because an aspect of your life is not progressing and is at a standstill. Something is making you feel constrained and inhibited and unhappy. See the Eight of Swords. You're going around in circles and have lost sight of the path to happiness, which is great loss. Let go of what is making you feel lonely and weighed down inside, even if by all appearances it should have the opposite effect. 
Stop being blinded or fooled by externalities, even if some people question your ability to do so. Make the choice for yourself now and for the true path of your soul before it is too late. Do not cling to old hopes and dreams that are unfulfilling and complicated. Look for a new strategy. Wow! Work out a plan that will quiet or that will quickly steer you toward a fulfilled and happy life. But stay on your guard and avoid involvement in hasty actions that will drag you down. It is time to confront decision making, to get out of your comfort zone and shake off your self imposed shackles. Yeah, that's Eight of Swords energy, if I've ever fucking heard it. Your soul has, has no need for ostentation nor self-affirmation, but instead it requires freedom and the prospect of a natural and light-filled path. It is calling you and telling you to be guided by your heart and to follow love. This card tells you to bring some order to your inner world and cast a sober eye over all that surrounds you in the outer world to establish order there too. That's detaching and becoming the observer over your own life. So that you, that's what I said. That's what I'm just channeling. Thank you, spirit. Come through, spirit. Thank you. Wow, that's so fucking awesome. Talk, spirit. It is a question of finding a new direction. So what no longer worked for what it's not working. What things that used to work for you in the past, that's why you're lost in the past and the ruins of the past. It's not working for you anymore because you you've gone through soul growth. We're going to get into the soul's journey next. The spirit told me to bring that. Okay. Damn. Come through, spirit. All right. Recognize. Oh, we didn't do this one. So, lost in the ruins of the past. Find the way to the present moment and live. 18. And it reduces to the nine, which is hermit energy. There's your solitude. That's You need to go inward. And be one with yourself right now so that your guides can come through and communicate with you. Okay? Because they really, they really are trying to help you here. But you're not receiving it. And I, I hear, please help me, help me. Help. They're, you have to give them permission to come in and help you because you have free will on the human earth plane of existence. And the 3D. Your guides are with you. You have to give them permission to come in and to intervene. And you need to ask them for their assistance because I know that you are. But when you're asking this, you've got to let them in or they can't help you. You have to give them permission. Okay? I give mine permission 24-7 to intervene on my behalf at all times in whatever way they see fit because they see what's going on behind the scenes in ways that I can't fucking see. But they tell me, and Archangel Michael is constantly channeling with me. He's my gatekeeper, and he protects me all the time. And, he, and when you tap in, and you're always communicating with spirit, your intuition is going to freaking heighten in profound ways and you're going to know your discernment is going to be off the charts and on fucking point okay and yeah you're you're still going to go through shit but you're going to be able to handle it a lot better you got to detach and become an observer over your life <clears throat> hey and not be lost in the fucking ruins and all of this despair okay You've got to find the way to the present moment and live. You've got to get out of the past. You are a traveler on a path of your soul. <clears throat> In a reading earlier, <clears throat> time travel came through. In one of my, in my last, I think it was my last reading that I did. <clears throat> you will need all of your courage as you are following the light of your heart into an uncertain future. 
This is something new that you've never quite done before, but you're ready. You've been working hard and you're trying to heal. You need help and you're going to get it. And you've got to work on your chakras and you need to meditate and you need to spend time with spirit. Praying is you talking to God and asking questions. When you meditate is when you listen and you receive the answers from spirit, right? Okay. However, you have now drawn this card and it is a very important sign. You have become lost in the ruins of the past, in ruins that are the remnants of an unpleasant or difficult time. And you're, you're letting it define you. You're not that. You've, you've survived it. It's the past. It doesn't serve you anymore. You've got to let it go and walk away from it like the Eight of Cups. Stop being in the Ten of Wands energy and the Ten of Swords and that ruin and that burden and the defeat of it. It's not defeated you, sweetheart. You're walking the fuck away from it. You're okay. I know it's been hard and so difficult. You have looked back too often instead of looking forward. At times, trapped in places in the past that should have long since ceased to exert power over your life. You've got to claim your power back and stop giving it away. You need to go watch my last video, too. And I was talking about this and about forgiveness and how to get, how to get past this, okay? Even if you could go back... You would find yourself alone and deserted. You would not meet anyone there. So what is it that you seek in these silent ruins that can offer you only loneliness and bitterness? Why would you want to be there still? You can't change the past, but you can change your present and your future. Your future is going to change on what you do in the present moment. If you're constantly in the past, nothing is going to change. And you're going to stay stuck and stagnant in a state of despair and fucking ruin. Is that what you want? Of course not. So you've got to stop doing that to yourself. You've got to get out of it. You've got to learn to love your alone time and understand that when you're with your guides, you're never alone, man. God, I love being alone and just only having time with spirit. Oh, and Evie, it's wonderful. I'm healing when I'm alone. They symbolize all your missed opportunities, but you cannot restore them now. They are what they are. If you linger there... You will begin to see your life as meaningless and sad when it is really a wonderful and magical adventure. You're just not outliving it because you're stuck in the ruins of the past. You're just lost in it. You're lost in the rubble. You're trying to pick up pieces and form it back together. You can't. That tower came in because God said no more. You have to walk away, honey. Feel the light of your heart and hear the sound of your soul. Continue on your path to discover endless possibilities, new adventures, new encounters, and even new love. You're blocking all of this from coming into you. If you live tenaciously in the light portal of the present, your eyes firmly fixed on the future, you will be on the path of your soul. Leave the past behind and find your way back to the present. It is now important to forgive yourself and continue your journey, your gaze fixed firmly ahead. It's what I just said. <clears throat> Please go back and, and watch my last video. N okay. It's number 18, so that reduces to the number 9, which is Hermit Energy. The healing crystal is black opal. 
The essential oil is lemon and the power animal is mouse. Okay. Now, next we have recognize despair as an opportunity. Within it, you will find the gift of awakening. And it is number 21. And this is Empress Energy, which is number three. Okay. So the Empress is giving birth to something new, a new creation, a new you is going to emerge. And you're abundant. Nurture yourself. And that empress energy. Be gentle with yourself. She's like the mother. She's Mother Earth. She'll love you. And help you feel safe upon the earth plane. And not be scared to be down here. Because you're detaching from your body. And you're not present. You're not grounded. You're not on the earth. Because it's too hard. You don't want to be here. You don't want to be down here. But you have to. You have to. And when you are and you ground. And you work with your guides. You're going to feel safe. You're going to feel safe when you're ground. When, you, when you're really grounded. You're going to feel safe. You don't feel safe because you're ungrounded. Recognize despair as an opportunity. Within it, you will find the gift of awakening. You're going through a dark night of the soul. Hidden in the darkest of nights, in the greatest depths of despair and in desperation lies the gift of awakening. And the dark night is a hard process, but that new level of awakening and, and enlightenment that you reach when you come out of that dark night of the soul is profound, profound soul growth and blessings and abundance that comes with that. Okay. Do not pass judgment on it. Or denounce it as a bad or dreadful moment in your life. Because it's not. It's making you who you are into this empress energy. Okay? Instead, it's balancing the divine feminine energy. Instead, use this time with all its darkness as a spur to action. Make use of every low in your life to create a new beginning. And that's balancing your dark and your light. I did a video earlier today about Black Moon Lilith energy. That's your dark feminine energy. The Empress energy would be your, your light Empress energy. Okay? You have to have a balance between the two. And you also have to balance your masculine energy. Because all human beings have both divine feminine and divine masculine energy. Powerful emotions contain the most powerful magic. Use them for rituals. Celebrate them. Commit yourself to them. And develop from this innermost strength a great light. An inner supernova. You're a fucking star. Use this transformed power to create something you desire. Something new or even bold or daring. These times are perfect for creating a new, wonderful future. See them as a chance to raise yourself up and grow beyond yourself and your lower self. That would be your, your dark energy. And happiness will not devour or destroy you. It will take you to higher dimensions. This card leads to, to one of your darkest places. Remember it, or you might be in the middle of such a place right now. It is painful, of course, but this pain comes to you as a friend. It will make you wiser, more awake, more aware. Learn from it. Do not neglect this opportunity to recognize something great that lies hidden behind all the despair and drama. Your power animal is the leopard. That is my main power animal. 
my daughter drew a leopard for me. Um, the essential oil is Elimi, E L E M I, Elimi, Elm, Elmi, Elmi. <laughs> I've never heard of that one. I don't know what that is. Healing crystal is green jade, and the number is three. is that I can't look it up because I don't have my tablet in here I don't want to okay you'll have to tell me what that is down in the comments I'm gonna look it up we need to figure that out okay <laughs> e-l-e-m-i okay now on the bottom of the deck, <clears throat> we have number 42, which would be the lovers. So goes down to a six. My God. There we go. You can split the pages. Cross the bridge of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotions. There we go. The glare off. Sorry about that, guys. The bridge to happiness is your wisdom. It leads across the depths, the clouded waters of your emotions. A bridge of happiness provides the chance to acknowledge your emotions and yet at the same time to be sufficiently distanced from them, to always remain present and centered in yourself. That's exactly what I'm talking about with detach and become an observer in your life so that you can heal and understand what's going on and get your messages from spirit. Come through spirit. Wow. However, it also allows you enough proximity so that you never stop learning. Don't ever stop learning. We can never learn it all. You need to learn as much as you possibly fucking can. The bridge of happiness is also a natural path. Neither cold nor warm. Neither rigid nor fragile. Yet it offers secure footing. I feel like you have a problem with security right now. And, and feeling safe. Only the wise may cross a bridge of happiness as those who believe that earthly riches await them on the other side are still far from reaching the bridge, far from attaining maturity and wisdom. On the other side of the bridge is a desire that has been fulfilled, love, security, or divine order. It is here that the wise among us will find silence, find themselves, or find God. You have drawn this card because you have now reached such a bridge. It is time to cross it and reap its rewards. Let go of your illusions, all your constricting thoughts about happiness and prosperity that limit you and hold you back. The way across the bridge is a path of meditation and every step will be a step of gratitude. That's what I was saying earlier. When you go into meditation, that's when your guides can speak to you and give you the answers that you need to receive. But you're not listening. You need to learn to listen to them and be still. Okay? And ask your guides for clear audience so that you can hear them more, more effectively. Okay? You have drawn this card because you are standing at a bridge. The path you have traveled may have been difficult and things may not have always been good. But your spiritual companions were there with you. 
They look after you and guided you here, but they will now withdraw a little. An arduous path may lie behind you, or times that were not always rosy, but your spiritual companions were there. They have been looking after you and have now guided you here. At this point, they are withdrawing a little. Yeah, because they need you to, to understand that, that you are capable of doing this yourself, that they're here to help you, but you're stronger than you give yourself credit for, okay? You're going to be like a phoenix rising out of the fucking ruins and the ashes, okay? You're like fucking Khaleesi coming out of the goddamn fire with her fucking dragons and all your gorgeous fucking empress energy. Fuck, yes. You have often been here before and yet have not acted wisely. So the bridge of happiness has simply dissolved and vanished into thin air. But now you have this card in your hands. Is it an indication that no one can cross the bridge of happiness alone? Since, or I'm sorry, it is an indication that no one can cross the bridge of happiness alone. Since true happiness is a light that always resonates between at least two beings. Power animal is dragon. And I was just, oh my god, really? Wow. The essential oil is pep. I just saw from Game of Thrones Khaleesi coming out of that fucking fire. Unburned with her fucking baby dragons. Looking like a sexy fucking goddess. Empress fucking walking out. Oh my god. With that transformation. That's what I saw. And your power animal is dragon again. We also had dragon on this card. On the, a new strategy is required. Find the path to love and happiness. Cross the bridge of happiness. It leads over the depths of your emotions. You're drowning in your emotions. You need clear quartz, peppermint essential oil, and the number is six. So you're drowning in your emotions over a lover. Over a past heartbreak. Or maybe multiple. But I think one here recently has really fucked you up. I mean, fucked you up. Bad. You're in total despair and ruin right now. And you've got to get out of that. You, you can't let this person keep blocking your heart chakra. Because it's affecting every aspect of your being to where it's even affecting your spirit guides being able to communicate with you and help you. Okay? So you've got to come out of that energy so that you're, you're going to be okay. Okay? Huh. All right. I'm going to see them, but I'm going to put them over here. Okay. <clears throat> Hello, baby girl. Yeah, I'm trying to sleep, Mommy. I am trying to sleep. Okay. All right, spirit. <clears throat> I'm going to bring these back over here. Now, okay, Spirit, what messages does the collective need to hear right now? Tear down the walls around your heart. Give and receive security and warmth. What chakra is blocked with this card? This card. Tear down the walls around your heart. Wisdom, and this is the heart chakra on the bottom of the deck. And trickery, 
on the bottom of the deck. Both of them are heart chakra. So you were tricked. Motherfucker pulled one over on you. Made them think. Or made you think that they fucking loved you. I don't think they... I don't think they loved you the right way at all, did they? All they did was fucking hurt you, didn't they? Yeah. And they tricked you into believing in them. And all they did was fucking lie. All they did was lie, didn't they? They fucking lied to you about everything. Snakes in the fucking grass. Weren't, oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. It's okay. You have to accept this. That's root chakra. That's grounding energy. You have to accept this so that you can move on. So you have the wisdom, which is that the only way that you gain wisdom is through life experience, right? So you have the wisdom now. To accept this fucking trickery of what this and it, oh my god and it's a dragon enter the temple of your truth and learn to value it what chakra is blocked here spirit what message is the does the collective need for enter the temple of your truth and learn to value it. Ooh. Recovery. So sorry, it's so bright. This is the purple border, so this is the crown chakra. Wait a minute, no, this is the, how is this, is this gray in here? Yeah, so that's the third eye. Okay, this is your third eye chakra. So recovery. Okay. That's a key. Well, spirit, we need one more. These are stiff. This one here. Impatience. Throat chakra. <clears throat> Maybe you're just impatient. You don't want to have to sit here and deal with all this recovery. You just want it fucking now. That's not how it's going to work because you're going through a, dark, through a dark night of the soul. On the bottom of the deck, we have faith. Third eye chakra. So, yeah, your guides are trying to communicate with you and give you messages, but you're not, you're not fully receiving this. But they're telling you to rest because you need to recover from this. Okay, and you, and you have been in a sense, but not in a healthy way. The message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. Vanity, which is throat chakra, and balance, third eye chakra. I also see justice here. So maybe, maybe your pride was hurt. Maybe you were humiliated and embarrassed by this betrayal, this relationship, or how you were treated. Or maybe they were extremely vain. Complacency is on the bottom. That's root chakra. You've, you've become very complacent. Trying to balance this out. Spirit is trying to message you. Hmm. Growth. Heart chakra. 
and forgiveness brings joy and passionate soulmate. So, so when you do this, when, when you release this, Spirit is trying to tell you that you are going, this is your heart chakra, that you are going through a major soul growth right now. And it involves forgiveness. Is that purple? Yeah, this is third eye energy. So this forgiveness is going to bring in joy. That's your solar plexus chakra. And get you out of this complacent energy. Okay? This vanity that this that you had to go through with, with that has created extreme soul growth. Okay? Your sacral chakra is bringing in passionate new soulmate connection, okay? Which is, red is grounding energy. That's your root chakra, okay? And in order to bring this in, all of the chakras are out here except for the crown. And that's spirits trying to come through, okay? Spirit's trying to come through. A new strategy is required. Find the path to love and happiness. Okay. What is, need, what is the collective need? Chakra wise, but the new strategy is required, Spirit. What is this? A new strategy. What is a new strategy is required, Spirit? What is this? Oh, shit. The victim perception. You're in a victim mentality or you're definitely a victim. Okay? These are both heart chakras. Whoever this motherfucker was made you a victim to their to their shit, didn't they? Okay. But you have to get out of that, that victim mentality and change your perception. Throat chakra. Expansion and workaholic. Are you just drowning yourself in work? So that you can expand... You're working hard on yourself now to create this expansion at the bottom of the deck. Third eye chakra, you have gratitude. Be grateful. Ah, oh, okay. Be grateful for this grief and release it. Right here, crown chakra, release it for enlightenment because you're in a dark night of the soul. Perfection. This motherfucker made you insecure. Look at this devil energy. He broke your fucking heart. The spirit is saying, have a heart full of gratitude for this grief. Because this motherfucker has made you grow. So much on it. And oh man, you've leveled up. Like you have leveled the fuck up. You've hit a whole new level of enlightenment. You're fucking perfect. Don't be insecure. Release this. This is crown chakra. Solar plexus chakra. Both of these are the root chakra. Okay. Heart chakra. And third eye chakra. It's gratitude. Okay. Be grateful for this. Um, this is where you have to detach. This is why spirit is saying this to me. You have to detach. 
You have to release the guilt. This is blocking your sacral chakra. You have to release this guilt because this is what's keeping you lost in the ruins of the, of the past. Find the way to the present moment and live so that you may be of service. Sacral chakra energy. That's blocked your creation, your sexual energy. It's blocking your divine feminine and your divine masculine energy. Lost in the ruins of the past. Lord, it's, it's like tight. What's going on? Lost in the ruins of the past. in the ruins of the past. Renewal. Yeah. An instinct. Root chakra and third eye chakra. You know. You know what you need to do. You know. You know what you have to do. Spirit said one more. What else? Completion. Prayer will complete this. You need to pray. You need to pray about this. This cycle is completed. Look, there, there's a death here. Maybe someone passed away. But know that they're right here with you. Your guides are always with you. Pray. Talk to them. Whatever is hurting you, Spirit can help you. Recognize despair as an opportunity. Within it, you will find the gift of awakening. If you've lost a loved one, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I know that hurts. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. It's, I know it's, it's going to take time to heal. And that's your timeline, you know. You're at an impasse. And there's a facade. Sac sacral chakra and solar plexus chakra energy has created a lot of fucking despair. But it is an opportunity to grow. Stay, <clears throat> man. Oh. Confusion. Crown chakra. You're confused. You're confused about this facade and this impasse. It's okay. It's dissipating. It's dissipating. It's going away. Right? It's going away. What else, spirit? Anything else? Gossip, impartiality, and perseverance. So maybe people are talking about you behind your back. This is heart chakra energy. It fucking hurts whenever people talk shit about you. Especially if it's, if, if it's fucking lies, right? Impartiality. This is crown chakra energy here. People are impartial. But you've persevered. This is sacral chakra. But you persevered through this. You've been strong in and of yourself, but you're isolating. But see, that's what you need to do. The bottom of the deck over here. You need to have some alone time so that you can heal, right? Because you're going to get a miracle, honey. A miracle is coming in. Creation. Yeah. You're going to be creating miracles. A miracle is being created in your isolation. So this message 
can come through to you. So it can come in and help you with what this is that's hurting you so badly because it's affecting every aspect of your being to where you can't function. You're not functioning, sweetheart. You're not. You're not functioning at your perfect and optimal healthy state of where your chakras need to be in balance. There are lots of uh, videos on YouTube that are meditation videos. I listen to meditation videos every day. And if you don't really know like how to work with your chakras, there are guided meditations. And there are Archangel meditations. Um, there is so many. <clears throat> and you've got to find someone's voice that you find soothing so that you can get into it, right? And um, that makes you feel okay. And like, even if you feel about loneliness and service. I know that I am never alone. I feel good when I can help others. So maybe you've just been focusing too much on everyone else and not enough on yourself. And your guides are asking you to do that. You need to focus on yourself right now. Because you've been through a lot and you, and you need to recover. Okay? And you need to rest and you need to have faith that this miracle, this miracle is coming. And let your heart be overflowing with gratitude from spirit for helping you release this. Ask them, say, I surrender and I release this to you, dear spirit guides. Please take this from me. Please help me heal this. Call in Raphael and Michael and all of your ancestors. Because you're not only healing yourself, you're also healing your ancestral lineage and your entire bloodline. So a lot of the stuff that we're going through in this lifetime now is past life regression. That we're balancing and that we have to heal that energy out. And every cell in our body has the memory of our ancestors. Every cell has the memory of everything. It holds the records of the Akashic records. It holds the memory of every bit of it. Everyone. Through adversity, you're going to become abundant. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. I am a limitless being, and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. Yes. Yes. Purpose and relationships. I've pulled twice today, and that the house of partners, the house of partnerships keeps coming out with relationships and partnerships. Purpose, I know what I am here to do. Relationships, I am tra attracted to those people who serve my higher good. You know that these relationships in the past that have left, left you in the ruins, they've caused a lot of aver adversity in your life, right? But you're abundant. You just don't realize how abundant you really are. Because you can't see it. You can't see it right now because you're too in it. That's why you've got to pull out and you've got to pull back. And you've got to detach from the situation. Because you have a purpose that you have to fulfill upon this earth. And you've got to accept this. Okay? I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. I need to operate from a state of acceptance. Knowing that it's okay. This 
fear energy. This fear that's got you trapped. Fear is the lowest vibrational frequency. Love is the highest. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Pride, fear, relationships, adversity. And then we have empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of the situation. Empathy, acceptance, purpose, and abundance. So when you accept, you're an empath. It's hard being an empath. So see, you've taken on this motherfucker's energy like it's your own. And you've got to pull out and detach from this because your health your health is being affected. You you are called to be of service. I feel good when I can help others. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And right here, lost in the ruins, we have service and guilt. And service again. You have a life of service that you need to be living. And you've been in a state of grief and denial. Okay. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Recognize despair as an opportunity. Within it, you will find the gift of awakening. When you release it, you got to release this grief. Look, look, here it is again. It's already over here. You're in denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. You are no, you're no longer the victim. You're, you're getting a new perception. Because a new strategy is required. You've got to work hard. And do your inner healing work for this expansion. Because you're going through it. You're doing the work. You're doing the work. And it's going to improve your health. In profound fucking ways. Yeah. You're growing. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Divine judgment has been called. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. This person that hurt you, they are under divine judgment. Yeah. Gratitude. Yes, please. Yes. Yes. We always need our hearts to be overflowing from a state of gratitude. Because when we are grateful and live in that state, spirit is just going to bless us with so much more. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. This despair is an opportunity. Look. Be grateful for it. It's a lesson that you learn and you've balanced out karma. 
for your entire ancestral bloodline and it's going to bring peace. Balance is going to be restored. Worry. I'm learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Peace. I am being I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Surrender. Surrender it to the universe, to your guides. I can release my need to control. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Yeah. You've got to get out of that state of guilt and come into the state of gratitude for this lesson that you've learned from this experience or from your life, period. Okay? Hmm. Wow. Come through, spirit. What a beautiful message we're getting here. Okay? Venus, offer decisions. You can either sit here and decide to stay in this mess that you got yourself into. Spirit's trying to help you get out, but you also have to help yourself get out of it because you've put yourself here. You've put yourself in a self-imposed prison. You're tormenting yourself. You can't do that, honey. You can't. You gotta you got you gotta love yourself. You gotta let this go. You've done all that you can in this past relationship or with family or with it work or I feel like this is I feel like this is past love I feel like this is past loves I feel like this is relationship related okay rejection loss and fragmented yeah your soul is fragmented right now but under that is integration and union. So this soulmate, this new soulmate, once you heal this, you have someone that's waiting to come in and be with you in a divine union. Fate, detours, divine intervention. The divine is stepping in and interceding on your behalf. You need to take you need to have courage because there is change that has to be made and that is coming. You've got to release these patterns of being bound into this toxicity. Okay? Comfort zone. Clinging to your fucking darkness, which is the south node energy. This is, this is past life karmic energy that's being balanced out. Your vulnerability... Is very guarded right now. You don't want anyone coming in, but you have to op be open to receive. Okay? You're closed off and guarded and just resistance going on because you feel guilt. You're sabotaging yourself. But see, you're coming out of this energy and into your north node, into your cosmic life purpose. That's your good karma coming in. Because these decisions that you have made with a divine masculine put you into this dark night of the soul. This moon energy, the shadow side. And it's scary in there, Divine Feminine. But you know what? We all have to go through them. The longing. It's separation. It's your twin flames coming in. That is this Divine Soulmate. God, it's going to bring you wish fulfillment, honey. You've got to let this past go. Pluto, 
transformation. Yeah. Start not as transforming you. You're fucking hot. You're fucking attractive as shit. You have Mars, fiery, passionate energy. The only limitation is your fear. It's winter. You're having a rebirth. You need to work on your self-care and your energy. Self-love. Creation. And setting good intentions for your future. You're no longer confused. This message is coming through from your guides. It's Neptune energy. Illusions. Your guides are going to communicate with you in your dreams. You're free. Freedom. Freedom is yours. Opportunities. Leaps forward. Uranus energy. Transidence and unity. Are here. Present, abundance, gratitude. You're no longer feeling the fuck shit of this deception. This temptation. Don't let him tempt you back. Don't do it. Could be dealing with an air sign. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be traveling. Communication, messages. Mercury energy. It's harmony, triggers, and conflict. Now we're back to Venus. What do you have to offer? Look at that sweet rose. Look how beautiful you are. Yeah. You have so much to offer. You have so much to offer. You're so beautiful. You need to learn to love yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. I really, I'm being told again to say Larimar. Uh, you really need to, to get that. And uh, wear it. You need to have it on your person. To help transmute that energy. Call in Saint Germain. With the violet flame of transmutation. And ask him to help transmute this energy out of you as well. This is the shamanic medicine cards. Yeah, medicine bag. Make yourself a little medicine bag and wear it on you. Prayer. Again, you need to pray. You need to talk with your guides. They really want to really want to work with you. Buried in the earth. Transference. So maybe this is a loss of a loved one for some of you cuz I did get that earlier. That someone passed away and you are in a lot of despair over this, over this passing. Your loved one does not want you in this state of being. It hurts them that, that you're hurting like this. You can't see them or touch them physically or, or audibly hear them speak to you but you can communicate talk to your guides you are you can definitely become a medium when you tap in learn to listen they will speak to you and they will comfort you Dreamweaver, accessibility, 
lower world past it's another dragon and offerings and wealth ancestors I hear I hear ancestors bones for casting divination on the bottom okay so let's read about these what is dreamweaver Accessibility. Dreams can come true. It's time to pay attention to them. What are your dreams telling you? Do you dream of past events, past lives, or things that have happened a long time ago? Are your dreams futuristic, setting you in a different age? Surrounded by people you are yet to meet or who are much older. The dreaming mind is an expansive creative canvas for the consciousness of the universe. In dreams, the past, present, and future are one. Time is limitless. Once you comprehend this, you awaken the ability to journey into the dream time and interpret the messages you find there. Dreamweaver will help you access the wisdom of those who have gone before you, including your own soul's previous experiences. <clears throat> Ancient knowledge is now needed, be it for the dilemma of what to do next, how to make the best use of your intuition, or to help you manifest better relationships and a better outcome for what may seem an impossibly difficult personal situation. Come through, spirit. Thank you. Wow. You will remember. Goodness. Goodness. Mommy gave me anxiety. You will remember oh, why you are here on this earthly plane right now. Dreamweaver reveal, revealed. Having the ability to interpret, comprehend, and diagnose a person's dreams goes a long way to the healing of the whole person. The dreaming of the original people of Australia is timeless. It exists in the present just as it has in the past. It allows creation and knowledge to pass from spirit to reality, just as the ancestor beings emerged from the earth. Other divinatory meanings. Go to bed with a clear conscience. Trust the visions you receive in dreams. Keep a dream journal. Goodness. Goodness. A dream holds an important message from a deceased loved one. There we go. Explore lucid dreaming. I'm a very lucid dreamer. Your dreams are manifesting into reality. Get some sleep. The dream weaver speaks. Wisdom accessed buried deep. I whisper secrets while you sleep. Truths revealed, journeys to take, drift and dream, your dreams awake. lower world past okay you have avoided the lower world and your own past that's why you're in a dark night of the soul right now you can't avoid it you have to face it you have avoided the lower world and your own past out of fear and misperception. Wait a minute. Victim perception. Right here. Right under ex a new strategy is required. Yeah. Find a path to love and happiness. 
This is not a place of hellish darkness, but somewhere that must be explored if you wish to become acquainted with the oldest part of your soul and move beyond the things that hold you back. Your thoughts and ideas are imprinted in the lower world, and once there, you can access the roots of your innermost feelings. The lower world called the oh shit. The lower world cards invite you to retrieve your lost power. Hear the rattles shake and the drums beat. Ha! Huh. Look. And dance your way to the trunk of the cosmic world tree. Seek guidance from the ancestors and the nature spirits that reside here. Lower world grants access to nature secrets. For this is where the elemental kingdom can be encountered. From here, wisdom and the power can be brought forward into life to correct the wrongs or heal the wounds of the past. Your totem animals will accompany you as you descend in the past or descend into the past and discover where your power lies and how they can help you in the here and now. So all of these animals that I've listed off to you from these cards that I said these are your animals for the next 21 days. These are your power totems that you need to work with. So you need to to Google um, pa uh, like rabbit power totem or totem medicine or something like that. Rabbit totem medicine, whatever. All of the ones that I've listed out, okay? And work with their energy. Read about them because there's a message there for you that these animals, including dragon, are trying to bring to you. And dragon has come out like four times. Lower world revealed. Shamans make the descent to the lower world through altered states of consciousness. The concept of a tree that connects the underworld, the earth, and the heavens is common to many belief systems and include um, North myth, or Norse myth and the sacred fig of Hinduism. In the indigenous cultures of America, the world tree is a place where spirit animals live alongside the ancestors. Lost information is found in fragmented parts of the soul await retrieval by the shaman. Other divinatory meanings. You have been avoiding the dark aspects of your psyche. Embrace your shadow in order to know thyself fully. Face the fears that stem from past lives by connecting with the earth and the lower worlds. Darkness sheds light on that which is hidden. It's exactly what I've been talking about in this reading. It's exactly what I've been saying. Thank you, spirit. Wow. Lower world speaks. Journey down into the deep. Assessed through trance or induced sleep. Ancestors, spirits, wait for you. Darkness highlights what is true. Next, we have offerings. And offerings is wealth. I don't think I, there's the lower world again with your dragon. Dreamweaver. My bed is so squishy oh, that when I move, I just sink in and I don't go anywhere. All right. All right. Sorry, little girls. Clean. 
Hold on. <laughs> okay, lay down there. Okay. Clean. Gotta lay down. Alright. Did you lay down? No, don't walk all over mommy's car today. Baby, honey. Okay, come over here and lay down. Come over here and lay down. Bring it, honey. Okay. Oh, sorry, baby. I just need her. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And back to the show. Offerings. Well. Okay. It is time to give back. Make a list of everything you are grateful for. And you will soon notice how rich you really are. To receive, one must give. Everything is interconnected. So when you give, abundance will flow back to you in some form. Spirit provides for our needs, so make offerings and thanksgiving for all you have and all you are a regular practice. <clears throat> this can be done daily, anywhere, and at any time to great effect. Offerings can be made in many forms, such as a fruit, nuts, and candles. Whatever you give is greater when infused with gratitude. Here. Yeah. Oh, it's my play. Give something that is of a uh, that is of importance or value to you, for then you really are giving. You can also make an offering through prayer, song, or by saying a simple thank you. Be humble and thank you. Hold the offering to your heart and allow it to become a blessing. This practice will enhance your connection with spirit and invite abundance. To come your way. <clears throat> Offerings revealed. Offerings have been made to the gods throughout humanity's history. The practice of burying offerings such as water, cakes, bread, and pottery with the deceased dates back a 100,000 years. In ancient Egypt, Asia, Europe, and Africa, specifically designated priests and priestesses performed ritual offerings of food, drink, clothing, perfumes, and flowers. Spirit houses still abound throughout Southeast Asia. Other divinatory meanings Financial difficulties are soon resolved. An unexpected windfall comes your way. Focus on what you want rather than what you don't. You are worthy. Practice the art of receiving. Gratitude ensures a bountiful crop. Offerings speak.
Give thanks and offer up with love. Ensure abundance from above. With humble heart, you must believe. Hold your hands out to receive. That right there is your divine inheritance from your ancestral lineage and universal abundance. Bones for casting divination on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> you are being thrown a bone here. <laughs> Ritual, or ritual casting, which is claromancy, of crystals, beans, sticks, or bones, and the interpretation of omens have always been used by shamans to assist with changes and challenges. It is time to open your eyes to the world around you. Stop relying on modern technology to answer life's questions. The world of spirit asks you to train your awareness on the natural messages that are staring you in the face. The true art of divination comes from being aware of everything around you. Make it a habit to ask the spirit and forces of nature for the advice you seek. They will hear your call and respond, but you need to take notice. To truly hone your intuition and trust what you see, Go outside and observe. Be one with nature, right? By noticing the natural signs and falling leaves, cloud formations, animals, and stone formations, you will grow more sensitive to every aspect of the natural world and its magic. Your senses will come alive. Bones for casting revealed. Throwing the bones is an ancient practice used by many diviners, herbalists, and spirit mediums throughout Africa, Asia, and North America. Natural and man-made objects such as bones, shells, nuts, coins, and stones can be used. Practitioners observe how and where the objects land, noting any patterns they form. The divining objects are kept in a basket, bowl, bag, or placed on an altar. These sacred tools are respected and honored in hoodoo practices by root doctors of Southern America. Other divinatory meanings. Pay attention. The signs and messages you've been asking for are staring you in the face. Ask spirit and the forces of nature for advice and knowledge. Be observant. Trust your intuition. You already have the answers. Hone your divination skills and use them. Bones for Casting Speaks Lots are cast, now watch me land. Messages to understand. Signs in nature wait for you. Spirit shows you. What is true? Wow. Thank you, Spirit. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, yeah, you've got to get out of your own way. You're creating your own demise. And right now, you are being your own worst enemy. And you can't do that anymore. You're not responsible for what someone else did. You're responsible for yourself and what you did, and that's it. You are responsible for your own happiness. No one else is responsible for your happiness, only you. Only you. Okay? You've got to step out of your own way and become the observer in your life. That's what Spirit told me to channel to you. Detach. Counsel yourself. And I've done videos about this. 
you know, as well, I've talked about it in my videos, record yourself like how I'm recording a message for you guys. And it's a great tool to help you hear yourself speak and to help you counsel yourself so that you can process your thoughts and emotions more effectively and they're not all destroying the energy inside your being and inside your mind because it's overwhelming you to such a state that it's creating panic and fear and you can't hear yourself you can't hear your you can't hear your guides and they're trying so hard to come through and to speak to you and, and you can't even hear you can't hear your guidance so you're just confused and like in a state of disarray and despair and you just feel so lost and you're going through a dark night of the soul right now and whenever you are going through that it feels like you're completely isolated and alone like no matter what you do it's like it just like that rock bottom keeps getting lower doesn't it you know been through a lot of dark nights in my life guys and it's not easy and i know you feel alone but you're not i promise you're not i promise come come into the light honey come into the light you're safe you're okay you're gonna be okay and you're gonna be a million times better than where you were when all this started because your soul growth is getting ready to be fucking profound after everything that you've endured and that you've gone through you're a fucking beast you're a fucking warrior and you got this you got this got it you're, you're okay everything's gonna be okay i promise you're safe and you're loved and your guides are right here with you it's time for a change. Do not wait or put off decisions any longer. Be this butterfly. Transform. Transform your energy into this beautiful butterfly of transformation. Live in this world as a dreamer. Create a future paradise. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's what you gotta do, okay? All right, guys, that's gonna be our message. I hope that whoever this resonated with, that uh, you can get the help that you need. If you need therapy, if you need to, you know, do whatever you need to do, you do what's best for you. Um, I hope that you're okay. You're going to be okay. I promise you're going to be okay. I love you. I'm sorry for your pain. But what you're going to gain from this is worth it in the end. I promise. You're going to get through it. You're so much stronger than you realize. And your guides are also trying to show you that because you're being prepared for what's next and for more. Because you're so strong. And you're going to turn that pain into a driving force of compassion to help others. And be like, man, I don't want anybody to feel like that. I hope I can help them. Right? Okay? I love you guys. And I hope that you're okay. I hope the best for you. I'm sending you lots of love and light. Healing energy is always flowing from me. Reiki is always coming out as I do my readings. I am a shaman. If you need help, please contact me. Um, you can email me. I think my email address is up. If not, put it in the comments and I'll get it to you. Okay? Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, please help me grow my channel. I'm so grateful. So grateful for each and every one of you. 
who spends time with me and takes the time out of their busy day and their schedule to sit here and listen to these long ass videos that I put out. I know they're long, but when I get to talking and I start channeling spirit, like we, I just talk a lot and they talk a lot through me. Like it's hard to shut me up. I could just sit on here for hours, like all day long, just all the time, nonstop and just talk to you guys and give you all kinds of downloads. But this is what I've got for you right now. And I will definitely be back with more. I've got to go to bed so I can get up and go to work tomorrow. But when I get home from work, I'll come back with another one. I love you guys. Thank you so much for everything that you do for me and for my channel. And for all the love and support that you've been giving me. It is definitely reciprocated and I give it right back to you. I love you guys with all my heart and soul. Good night, collective. Sweet dreams. Bye, guys. Good night, guys. Bye.